Our topic this session is all about modes of reproduction in animals. This lesson will help you understand how animals produce their offspring, new young. Doing the different activities of this lesson will direct you to describe the reproduction depending on the level and type of animals. Animals cannot live forever. Like humans, animals also need to reproduce. Most of them perform sexual reproduction. They have also their own reproductive system that makes them able to do such life process. Most of them perform sexual reproduction involving a male and female animal. In this way, extinction is prevented and diversity is maintained in nature. Producing new animals may mean food supply to other organisms. It may also signal the continuous existence of certain species. Animals have the means to increase their number through reproduction. This is to preserve their species and to help in keeping nature balanced as they interact with other animals. Different animals have unique modes of reproduction. It can be noticed that some animals can reproduce in large numbers like insects, pigs, dogs, and frogs while some animals cannot. On the other hand, big animals generally reproduce in fewer number. Let's proceed to our learning task number one encircle the animals that can reproduce in large number. Question number one. What are the animals that can reproduce in a large number? We have mosquito, frog, butterfly, cockroach, Question number two, why do you think they can reproduce in large numbers? They reproduce in large numbers through production of eggs. Question number three, what are the animals that reproduce in fewer numbers? We have cat and dog. Most of the animals like cats, dogs, butterflies and frogs need a male and female to reproduce. This is called sexual reproduction. Para magkaroon ng karagdagang kaalaman, panoorin ang video tungkol sa sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction. The goal of many animals is to live long enough to reproduce and pass their genes on to their offspring. To ensure their genes are passed on for generations, almost all animals go through the process of sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction is when a male and female sex cell come together to create a unique organism. The male reproductive cell is called the sperm. The sperm contains 50% of the father's genes. The female reproductive cell is called the egg an egg cell contains 50% of the mother's genes. When the two cells join together, the genetic material combines. The joining of reproductive cells is called fertilization. Some animals, like humans, go through internal fertilization, where the egg is fertilized inside the body. The offspring develop inside the mother. Some animals, like fish, have external fertilization. The female releases her eggs. Then, the male fish spreads his sperm over her eggs. The young develop outside of the body. No matter how the egg is fertilized, the offspring gets some genes from each parent. Sexually reproduced offspring are not identical to either. So the next time you see an animal, think about where it came from and how it'll make offspring. Sexual reproduction. Learning task number two. Identify whether the following animals are reproducing sexually. Write two parents if the animals show sexual reproduction. Otherwise, write single parent.
Study the figure. Figure 1. Describe how frog grows. Why do you think the eggs found in the water? Where do you think fertilization happens? Eggs of a frog are found sometimes near the water or under the water. The fertilization happens outside the body of the frog, or we call it external fertilization. The growth of the dog starts inside the mother's womb, because fertilization happens internally. In sexual reproduction, a new animal with a set of unique characteristics is produced. Sexual reproduction always involves the presence of sperm and egg cells. These two cells carry genetic materials like DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, from the father and mother respectively. And now, let's have a sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is just one way of how life is able to make copies of itself and continue to stay alive. Or as Dr. Malcolm says from Jurassic Park, life uh, finds a way. Asexual reproduction is a type of reproduction by which offspring arise from a single organism and inherit the genes of that parent only. Let's take a look at four types, fission, budding, fragmentation, and spores. Fission occurs in lower plants and bacteria, also in algae and protozoa. In this process, the cell divides after the DNA has divided. If the, the cell divides into two, it is called binary fission. The DNA or the nucleus of the mature cell divides first and then the cell divides into two daughter cells of almost the same size. The resulting cells contain identical genetic material as the parent cell. Budding. In some species, buds may be produced from almost any point of the body, but in many cases the budding is only found in specialized areas. The bud eventually develops into an organism duplicating the parent. Budding is characteristic of a few unicellular organisms like bacteria, yeast, and protozoa. However, few animals like the hydra reproduce by budding. Fragmentation is a form of cloning where an organism is split into fragments. The splitting may or not be intentional. Each of these fragments develop into mature, fully grown individuals that are a clone of the original organism. If the organism is split any further, the process is repeated. Fragmentation is seen in many organisms such as molds and worms, starfish, and planaria. Finally, spores. Many fungi develop spores through mitosis and are not fertilized. The spores are dropped to the ground and develop into a new fungi. If you'd like to know more about asexual reproduction, this playlist will help. Study each picture in column 1. Each picture shows the parent animal and its offspring. Complete column 2 by comparing the parent animal and its young and column 3 by describing their mode and type of reproduction. Don't forget to subscribe for more important videos from Sony. Don't forget to subscribe button.